Yes, guys, it's just a quick video now. Um, it's about one o'clock in the morning. I've decided to make this video. It's only because of all this coronavirus business going on. Um, and I just discovered how to make homemade hand sanitizer because it's becoming a pain in the ass to get anywhere in the shops. I actually had all the ingredients already. Don't ask me how, why. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to show you how to make it. It's so easy. Right, okay, guys, we've got vegetable glycerin. You can order it online or you can get it in like boots any pharmacies they might have it in stock i don't know uh but yeah obviously this yeah, look i ain't gonna lie to you i bought this from darks that ages ago but yeah there's loads of different sites because you use this to make uh e-liquids as well but anyway we're making hand sanitizer today hey guys have a look at that there this alcohol is not for drinking this alcohol is for drinking oh shoot <coughs> Yeah, that shit probably could work as well. But anyway, isopropyl alcohol, two parts. So two parts, here I put 200 ml of this, which I'm gonna do in my measuring jug. 200 ml of that, and then 100 ml of the vegetable glycerin. And then, essential oils. You put these in vaporizers, like the room vaporizers and stuff like that. You can get different ones, it's just to give it a bit of a scent. But yeah, guys essential oils uh, eucalyptus is probably a, a popular one that you've heard of but they do different different ones but you can use any one because it is for just fragrance really um, and also if you can't get isopropanol alcohol you can use ethyl alcohol okay guys um, yeah ethyl alcohol you'll probably find that on the back of most um, hand sanitizer gels commercially made but yeah simple simple way to make it let's do it Here's my jug. And we're gonna whack 200 ml in there. That's 200 ml. This is a big bottle of glycerine, guys. Anyway, right, let's lift that up. I put 100 ml on there, so my total will be 300 ml in my jug. Gotta drop more. Want to make it larger scale then do so obviously just use that two parts of alcohol one part glycerin two drops of this bad boy one two there we are i've got a bit heavy handed there I'll just put a couple of extra in um what we're gonna do is mix this up now guys and that's it so you've got a spoon and i'm gonna mix this up and there you are guys You've got your own homemade hand sanitizer and with all this coronavirus business going on guys i suggest you make it because some people are taking the piss with the prices in the shops um it's been ridiculous to be honest but yeah so guys i'm gonna upload this video anyway on my cooking channel um i have been making some recent videos since i've been in the house anyway and there's nothing else to do so you'll see some cooking videos but i'm also going to upload this onto my cooking channel um i know there's enough food but it's essential because we all need to be helping each other out in this time um guys look after yourself wash your hands and sanitize oh yeah another thing i've got to say washing your hands is still better than sanitizer sanitizer is good if you're going up shopping or whatever blah 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 uh, use that um, but obviously um, do listen to the NHS advice as well um, as I'm not a doctor I'm just a member of the general public but um, yeah make some hand sanitizer guys uh, one thing I forgot to mention though as well guys is um, um, the ratio I've given you of two parts alcohol 91% alcohol is what I've used and uh, one part vegetable glycerine the alcohol is 91%, remember that. And they recommend anything above 90% when you're making it. So once you make it and dilute it with the vegetable glycerin, it comes to about 60.8% alcohol. Anything above 60% I think is okay. I think it's 61. But if you want it a bit more, you can do like uh, three parts alcohol, one part glycerin. And that'll give you about 68% or something like that is. Have a good night and take care.